Okay, let's have a quick live. We are here at uh, after Tsomet uh, Hawara. We are surrounded by illegal settle settlements. We were invited to pick olives, but the army has decided that for the Israelis it is a closed area. I will not get close by because I'm extremely pissed and aggressive. So the plan was, let me see if we can see that. Interesting, because it doesn't look okay there. So this road up here is supposed to be here up the hills, supposed to be closed area. Where did we come from? We come from there, more from there. And then now uh, over there, it's over there. Anyway, so the army stopped us, two cars, police came, he's taking pictures of everything and everybody and every car. Now, officially, as we understood, the permission to go because the Palestinians got permission. Yeah, they need permission. It sounds ridiculous. It is ridiculous. They need permission uh, to uh, pick their olives. They got permission, but it doesn't mean here. I just want to. Can you please explain to me why you're taking pictures of all the cars? Let's just do a zoom out. Taking pictures of all the cars. Not really clear to me why. So we're in occupied Palestine and he's taking, the police is taking pictures of every car. Hold on, I want to have his name. Let's do a close-up of his name. This is what they're busy with. Name is Guy L. whatever. What's your name? Gail Olusholawali. And Guy finds it absolutely necessary to take a picture of all the cars. I wish they were so diligent when Israelis get attacked by settlers. Unfortunately, that never happens. They are absolutely doing a great job when it comes to Israeli activists. But when it comes to the Israeli uh, Zionist settlers, they are a bit of a different story. They don't do their job as well. They are not able to identify anybody. Anyway, as you guys can see, more people are coming. As you guys can hear, I am extremely pissed. So, to get back to my quick story, because that's what it's all about. Yeah, let's also get Ben in here. Ben, also come here. I'm still in my story, then you can tell your story. So uh, they tell us uh, closed off area, military closed off area. They want to allow the Palestinians to be able to uh, pick their olives. I have on video, whenever they need, anytime they need, they can get it all from the army. The fact that they need permission in itself is ridiculous. It's their land. Now they're getting attacked by, by Zionist settlers here in the neighborhood, maybe. Maybe, would be really nice if it's a close off area that the settlers will not come down the mountain. It's Saturday, we're close to Burin. Uh, to, uh, we know it always happens here in Burin. Anyway, then, right but now- they, But they belong to the, the army. The army doesn't want them to socialize with us, so they won't socialize with us. Who, no, it's, it's, the they army or the settlers? No, the army doesn't want, want the Palestinians to socialize, oh, to socialize with, with us. With us. Yes. So they won't socialize with us because there are... Uh, there are consequences, yeah. yeah Hold in on. A, no, in uh, the Jerusalem. Yeah. Are, but they are property. Down, the property of the uh, army, that's the, the crazy way that the army see their duty for giving uh, defense to the Palestinians. Is they decide for them who they'll meet or, or, or they decide to them that they won't meet anyone except the settlers when they uh, beat them. 
Okay, so that's number one. There's more, more people are coming. Anyway, we parked our car here at the side because now they're blocking off all entrances. Another car, another car. Uh, so, and we are standing here. We are celebrating. <laughs> we are celebrating Israeli democracy. This is a very nice, exciting revelation of the Israeli democracy. And we all have to celebrate it. <laughs> Together with the nice officers and soldiers who really are disturbed that we are going to help the Palestinians harvesting olive trees. I mean, they are very much disturbed about it. Yes. Israeli democracy in action. Okay, so somebody asked what happened. Nothing happened. We were trying to uh, get to an area to pick olives. The army decided it's a closed off area. They want to allow the Palestinians to do their work. And us being there doesn't help. So here as a group, we are deciding what we're going to in do now. Days, there, there are elections. Elections, here. yeah. And the yeah. most uh, extreme guy, which is racist. Hold on, hold on, before we get to the elections. Uh, so we're here right now deciding what we're going to do. Are we going to try and get up uh, to the olive uh, uh, field where we're supposed to pick? That will mean we might get arrested, gas, whatever, but there will also be consequences for the Palestinians. So that's a decision if we will make. interesting, somebody is going to pee. Yes, and Michael is going to pee for anybody that's interested. Now, let's go to Ben. Ben, yeah. you were talking, uh, forget about the, well, yeah, throw in okay. the elections. What do you yeah. want to say there? Go for there it. There are four set settlements here and uh, in a big army camp. Those settlements go over Hawara. And those settlements got really, really uh, to conflict with Hawara. They didn't let the people of Hawara raising the flag of uh, Palestine. And they are conflict conflicting with them. And in the two last week or three last week, they closed all the time the city of, of uh, Nablus. 170,000 people in Nablus. They closed the city. And when they closed the city, they don't let all those villages get any service, including uh, health service from the big city. So it's a question of uh, of uh, misery, uh, several, of uh, 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 suffering. Suffering. The suffering of 250 Palestinians because of those Thousand, four... 250,000. Yeah, because of those four stupid settlements and all the outposts they got. So I think they should move away. All those settlements who closed Nablus. So these are these four not very big settlements and all the small outposts should move away and this is what we should uh, demand. <laughs> demand from the state of Israel. And there are two big set, set, uh, settlements in the other side, Shavei Shomron. Oh, the name of those settlements is Elon More, Itamar, Har Bracha and Itzhar. And those very extreme and probably um, making problems. Everyone in their in their side, but they are all prob uh, problem uh, makers, troublemakers. So, so this is the thing. And if you say that same thing should be on Kdumim and Shavei Shomron, who also took part in uh, closing the city of uh, Nablus, so I say you can move them all away including the grave of my father, Dr. Jacob Eschel, Jacob Eschel. I say, you can move his grave all and give peace to the people of Nablus and all the area of uh, Nablus. I'm with you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Okay, so I don't know what we're going to do and I will close my life to find out what we're going to do. Uh, but as Danny said, democracy in, uh, well, I don't even know how to call this. I hope, I really do hope, 
we get to the olive trees we were supposed to pick today because that's in the end why we all woke up freaking early we're not here to uh, twiddle around so two options one we leave and we go home with the result that the Israeli occupation force did not allow us to go and pick the olives It's really unbelievable, even when you look at yesterday. So the settlers came, you know, like, yeah, you're doing the provocation. You know, we were picking. There's too many, too many press here, too much press. You're doing the provocation. You're bringing, you know, like 80 people. If you bring 80 people, you know, you're able to pick the, uh, the olives, you know, the grove, maybe within a day or two, instead of, you know, like two weeks with a few people but clearly that's extremely extremely threatening to the Israeli occupation force and probably also what Danny or what uh, Ben said earlier regarding uh, interactions uh, between Israeli activists and Palestinians that's also a sore point in the eye another option that we can do besides leaving is we decide we do go up the mountain we do go to the olive uh, grove or how it's called and uh, with the risk of uh, not so nice reaction of the israeli occupation force but if we're going to do that it's always the question what will the price be for the palestinians so as i have been chatting away with you guys for everybody that's crazy enough to be awake at this hour what hour is it? I have no fucking clue. So if we decide to go up the mountain or olive picking, if we have another way of getting in, then we'll definitely do that and we will be back. If not, I wish you guys a quiet Saturday with no violence and lots of love. Here people are leaving. Okie dokie. Yalla, bye guys.